from the book of Revelations. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see the Lord face to face. Good day to all of you and welcome to our podcast. I am James. We have brothers and sisters who are no longer here with us on earth, but have served the Lord faithfully during their life. Like our loved ones praying for us, our brothers and sisters in heaven pray for us before God. Welcome to our podcast series about the faithful servants of God, His holy people, His saints. I have very few favorite saints, and one of them is a gentleman by the name of Pierre Giorgio Frassati. Pier Giorgio was born in Turin, Italy in 1901. He belonged to a family that is uh, prominent during that time. His um, mother was an artist, uh, she was a painter, and his father hold positions in politics. Um, his father was a senator and also an ambassador to Germany. And just like any ordinary kid, um, Pierre Giorgio is full of life full of energy and uh, very well loved by his family and servants but despite their family status Pierre Giorgio remained humble and charitable to those who are in need there are many beautiful anecdotes about Pierre Giorgio's charity towards the poor and the needy and his great affection for Jesus Christ. There was an incident wherein a beggar, a lady, together with her child, came knocking at the door of their house. Upon seeing them and noticing that the child doesn't have any shoes on, Pierre Giorgio immediately took off his and gave it to the woman for her child. In another occasion, as Pierre Giorgio was visiting a nursery school together with his grandfather, he noticed that one child is being isolated because of a strange skin disease. But Pierre Giorgio took the time to share his soup to this child. In another occasion, a lay worker who works for the nursery school was gathering flowers in order to put them to the chapel. Pierre Giorgio gathered roses with her. Pierre Giorgio came and gathered roses with her and then approached her. Sister, take this rose to Jesus for me, he said. The lay worker responded, One day Jesus will make you a saint. At an early age, Pierre Giorgio joined the Marian Solidarity and Apostleship of Prayer. During that time, co daily communion was not allowed to everyone, but since Pierre Giorgio is a member of this Apostleship of Prayer, he was given the permission to receive communion every day. And this gave Pierre Giorgio an extreme delight that he can receive Jesus every day. As he grew up, he always had this devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Eucharist. Some of his friends narrated, there were times where they would find Pierre Giorgio in tears while praying before the Blessed Sacrament. And that Pierre Giorgio would spend long hours of prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. Pierre Giorgio remained there, undisturbed and unwilling to leave the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. This is very admirable because people nowadays no longer have this devotion, especially the young people. Most of our young people nowadays don't even know what the Blessed Sacrament is or have not 
prayed long enough before the Blessed Sacrament. It is quite admirable that at an early age, Pierre Giorgio was able to realize that Jesus is really present in the Eucharist, in the sacred host, in the Blessed Sacrament. And I firmly believe that he nourished his, his relationship with, with Jesus through this prolonged uh, prayer hours before the Blessed Sacrament. I sincerely hope that we also get inspired to to see and to believe in the presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and that when we receive communion and when we pray before the Blessed Sacrament we could embrace the presence of Jesus in our hearts and keep him company there there was this one quote from Pierre Giorgio he said Jesus comes to visit me in the Blessed Sacrament the Eucharist and I come to Jesus every day in the houses of the poor. Just like Pierre Giorgio, may we have this kind of friendship with Jesus. And like him, may we try to see Jesus present in our neighbors, especially the poor, and appreciate the moment when Jesus comes to us through the Eucharist, through the Blessed Sacrament. God bless us all. Thank you for listening. This podcast is a personal initiative of mine in my desire to bring God wherever His people are. I believe that the more we talk about God, the more we bring Him into our consciousness, the more we are reminded that He is real and He is ever close to each one of us. My prayer is that you discover Him personally by yourself and see that what He wants is nothing but happiness for you. God bless us all.